doing the deed. Now it is time to quickly plant any items of evidence you have to do so. Simply enter the desired room and select item in your inventory. When you are ready, enter the drawing room to do the deed. Okay, so I have the poem and I have the glass shard. Now in the end, I want to go over here. Because that's where Sophia... No, that's the maid, Sophia. That's where the sister is. I can't think of her name. I think that highly of her. I have the... Oh no, poem. Oh, okay. I might have to go past Malcolm. Eh, and he's seen me. Sorry, Malcolm, don't mind me. Okay, so Malcolm's room is on the right. Remember this time. I don't... Hang on. Oh no, poem I wanted to do. Let's place... There's nothing in those drawers but clothes belong to the maid. Can I plant the poem? I don't... The maid is exactly well made. Can't interact with that. Okay. Um... How do I do this? I don't want to accidentally press something. Alright. Uh, there's no reason to touch this right now. There's an urgent D that needs doing. I can't remember how... Oh no, that's right. Let me try this. I just did that before because I had to pause the game. Items, poem... Come hither, thou sweet and... Flamehead maiden, let us play the games which... Have been forbidden in dusty old room of this home in which I have lived in. Come hither to me and do my sweet bidden. You find yourself unable to continue to read this poem. You're pretty sure that forbidden isn't a word and that the rest of this doesn't really rhyme. Yep. Do you want to plant this item? Yes, I do. You decide to conceal this item underneath the maid's pillow. That ought to be quite incriminating. All right. Now to kill a cow! I was going to say a much more of an insulting word, but then decided on cow instead. Beep beep. You never saw me, Malcolm. I shall pay you for your silence. Okay. Yes, so you should enter the drawing room. Yes, that's the drawing room. Hang on. Why did I think that was a library? Or maybe, I don't know. Dun dun dun! You see Jennifer staring out of the window ahead of you, lost in one of her strange moods. She hasn't noticed you enter the drawing room. Now is the time. Hear that music increase. Fortunately, I'm not going to get this achievement because I've already killed someone. I've already killed her once before with a broken glass. Okay, um, before I choose it, where am I going to flee to? So, as soon as you kill them, you have, oh, I think, six seconds, maybe, to get to another room. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna go. Your sister cries out in surprise as you grab her from behind, and you quickly muffle those cries with one hand before pressing the shard of broken glass against her throat. <laughs> she struggles violently as you cut her throat open, but you manage to hold her in place until she finally goes limp. You drop her lifeless body to the ground, alone, along with the broken glass. It's time to leave this room before your deed is discovered. Do they not have fingerprints in this time frame? Why is it her body seems to be split in half? Come on, I've got six seconds left. I can't remember how many seconds I had to begin with. Hello, doggy! Father's best friend. Yeah, I know, I've read that. Oh, it sounds like my deed has been discovered. Why did you say that out loud? I know he didn't, but whatever. What the hell was that? Uh, probably a car. Good evening, everyone. I am Chief Inspector Winston Lewis. I understand that this is a difficult time for your family. You're damn right it is. I want to know what you're doing wasting time in here while my daughter's killer is still out there. I look at the blood on the floor. Look at it makes a smiley face. Well, Mr. Bruce, we have found no evidence of forced entry and nobody was seen entering or leaving the house. It would seem entirely possible, then, that the killer is in this room. What? No. That seems highly unlikely, Inspector. <clears throat> Perhaps it is, however. In order to follow protocol, I will have to interview each of you in turn. Mr. Bruce, would you like to meet me in the library first? I, I, I said Mr. then, didn't I? It was Mrs. I, I suppose so. Hang on, no. Or was it in that time when even you were still referred to as your husband's name? The interview. Thank you for joining me in here, Mr. Bruce. I'm sure this won't take long. And I swear I'll stop saying Bruce like that. Before we begin, I will need to search your person. Best to get these formalities out of the way. Is this really necessary? I'm afraid so. 
Turn around, please. Buy me a drink first. Now that's out of the way, let's move on to the interview. As you know, I have already spoken to everyone else who was present in the house at the time of your sister's death. Have you now? We have also now completed our initial search of the house, but we'll get to that in later. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? First of all, we'll run through all of your activities since your arrival. The maid says that you, you and the butler arrived shortly after 7 o'clock and she greeted you at the door. Later, you went to speak to the maid again, which is curious. Why did you decide to visit the kitchen? Uh, it's best to actually answer truthfully because as soon as you try and hide something, the game knows instantly and you can't hide it. So if you did go and do something, you have to say you went and did that thing. Otherwise, it'll know, which I went to see. I want to make sure they were treating her well. I had some concerns about the way she was being treated. My family can be hard on the new staff sometimes. That seems like a good reason. She said that you spoke about your sister and her deteriorating mental state. You take that back. It's deteriorating fine. That didn't make any sense, I know. Shut up, that's a thing. Uh, it was just small talk, really. The maid seemed very concerned about my sister. I knew she'd gotten worse since the maid arrived. Well, I am trying to blame the maid, so... I was aware that my sister's condition had deteriorated since the new maids arrived. Was it the arrival? I don't know. I felt I should investigate the subject. So the maid seems to have a negative impact on your sister's health somehow? Hmm, I will take note of that. You went to see your father in the library, I understand. Your conversation became quite heated. My father has always had a temper. I was stuck with that one before. My father has a very short fuse. Many of our conversations go that way. Would you say he has a violent temper? Absolutely. I see. That's good to know. You you discussed the prospect of your moving back to Dunchiel. You refuse to do so under any circumstances, I understand. Uh, of course. Yeah, because that's pretty much how I got went with the conversation. My father fails to accept the fact that I have my own life now. I can't just move back here. Of course not. That's completely understandable. It's very strange that you didn't go and have a conversation with your mother in the parlour when you arrived. Is it, though? Do you know my family? It makes me wonder what else you were doing that was so important. What do you want to know? Did you speak with your sister before dinner? No, I did not. No, I didn't see Jennifer until dinner. Very well, then. Let's move on to the events that took place during dinner. Well, I had a steak and kidney pie and split pea soup. I understand that there was an argument involving the butler. You felt he was being treated unfairly. Uh, my family always treat the servants poorly. Someone has to stand up for the servants around here. My family treat them like dirt. Indeed, it was good of you to do so, Mr. Bruce. Apparently, you accuse your sister of making unwanted advances towards the maid. Uh, well, someone needed to talk to her about it. Yeah, right. okay. I felt I needed to call attention to it. She was just embarrassing herself. So your sister had strong feelings for the maid? Yes, very strong feelings, but I'm not sure the maid knew anything about it. If you... and everything's falling together. Now I need to ascertain your location. This is the thing, this part I always hate, and when I was... before I managed to actually successfully get away with the murder, I always stuffed up on this, because there was no floor layout or a plan of the house to actually look at, so when, the, when it came time to asking, he do this. And then you'd have to, and I'd go, I don't freaking know. And I couldn't figure it out because I'm thinking, which, what is which? And things like the, uh, I don't know, like the parlor or whatever threw me. I'm thinking, I don't know. So the first bit was fine, but um, I was definitely, I was on the ground floor. But then this stuff was all I was like, oh, I don't know what room is which. And that always screwed me over. And I'm thinking, bugger, I wasn't in that room. I was in that room. So anyway, I was on the ground floor. I was in the library. So that was West Wing. Uh, well, I suppose so. I'm pretty sure it's the library anyway. I was in the library. With the candlestick. Yes, that's what your father told me. As I said earlier, we have com completed our initial search of the property. We found a poem written by your sister, which appears to clearly express romantic feelings towards the maid. Given that we found it in the maid's room, we can be sure that she had read it. Perhaps it is proof that the two of them were involved in a secret relationship. That would make her a suspect. Should I be being told all this? I will certainly have more questions for her, at least. I am curious about the murder weapon. The broken glass seems to have come from one of your sister's mirrors. We found the rest of it in the maid's room. 
However, we can't rule out suicide. Why? Especially given your sister's mental condition and her obsession with mirrors. It is all very interesting. I'll be completely honest with you now, Mr. Bruce. I can find no fault or suspicion in your behaviour. Woohoo! I get away with murder. <laughs> Leading up to your sister's death. While there is some suspicion regarding your father, I don't currently regard him as a serious suspect. That's okay, I've already blamed him once. But I feel quite certain that the maid isn't telling me something. Despite her condition, I don't believe your sister committed suicide. I'll just have to try again then. Now, for, as for what happens next, you are free to go. Woohoo! Next, I am going to have to arrest the maid. Honestly, I would... I mean, granted, I've never been in a situation like this before, but I would think that he wouldn't be telling me all this. Grant, I think it was 1945 or something, maybe, at the beginning. But anyway, uh, so... A verdict of suicide seems unlikely, I'm afraid. It's okay, I'll go back and try again. Come on. Yay! Got the achievement! Temptress! Since you had given the police no reason to suspect you, the evidence you had planted against Sophia the maid led to a trial and swift conviction. Ah, the case caused quite a scandal in the national media, and Sophia gained a lot of unwanted celebrity in the process. That was worded right. She became known in the public Im imagination as the killer chambermaid. With no other heirs remaining, your father of re reversed his plans to cut you out of his will. When your parents died, you inherited everything. Woo! <laughs> I got my inheritance. Don't your house was yours, along with the fortune that came with it. However, George the butler found himself unable to continue serving in the place after what had happened. Oh, okay. As you spent many long sleepless nights wandering through the rooms of their house, you found that its emptiness was reflected within yourself. You had become hollow inside, free of everything but the nightmares that continued to haunt you. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Hear those screams? How lovely are they? They sound so nice. So that was the deed! And that was temptress! I got the achievement! Of course, because it was at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it was not in any view of recording, so you wouldn't have seen it pop up. But I got the achievement! Oh, thank god. Okay. So... Oh. Thought, what the heck? Oh, it just turns out someone's playing a game. That was, um... I don't know if I'll do any more of the deed. Maybe I'll try and get other... Uh, other achievements try and blame other people so so far i have blamed the father i have blamed sophia the maid and i've also had it as no murder i've had it unsolved even though that one i was actually trying to blame sophia in the first place but no it wasn't i was trying to do suicidal run but anyway um so yeah i know videos have been very lacking at the moment and i was going to do a pokemon video but thought i don't really want to because it was just I'm, I was never one of those obsessed people with the game. I played it for fun and every now and then, but I've decided not to do that one. But I think there might be a few more the D videos because once Minecraft went to 1.10, I can't play Minecraft if it's not 1.9 or lower, and which is a bit of a pain. I can't play Realms either, so some of those some of the builds that are going to come up aren't going to be in the best camera views because it's just going to be one my first my view of the one character as opposed to watching my another character build it so there's that um so various games going to be uploaded i don't know as even though videos were supposed to be twice a week they're not going to be any more that anymore they're just going to be whenever i can get one out because at the moment probably <laughs> probably matching the kind of uh, game i decided to play for this the deed my mental state isn't exactly the greatest right now so there's that but if you have been watching and enjoyed thank you for watching expect maybe one or two other storylines for the deed coming out eventually i have been retta i have successfully blamed someone else for murder and before i ramble any further goodbye thank you Thank <laughs> you.